Isang magandang araw po sa ating lahat. Ako si Teacher Ai, nagsasabing tara na at matuto sa Math Thinker. Let's go! Hello! Welcome back again to our new episode for today. Ang pag-aaralan naman natin ngayon ay Divisibility Rule number 4 and number 8. Ano nga ba ang divisibility rule number 4 and number 8? Tayo na at alamin. Divisibility rule number 4, a number is divisible by 4 if the last two digit is divisible by 4. Divisibility rule number 8, a number is divisible by 8 if the last three digit is divisible by 8 and if the number ends with three zeros. So let us start with the divisibility rule number four. It states that a number is divisible by four if the last two digit is divisible by four. So our base is the last two digit. Tingnan lang natin ang dalawang huling digit at dito natin malalaman kung ang isang numero ay divisible by four. Example, 48. 48 is two-digit number. So, gamitin natin to sa ating long division process. 48 divided by 4. So, 4 divided by 4 is equal to 1. 1 times 4 is equal to 4. Bring down 8. 8 divided by 4 is equal to 2. Then, 2 times 4 is equal to 8. Then, subtract 8 minus 8 is equal to 0. So, ang sagot natin doon ay 12. Therefore, 48 is divisible by 4. So, next number is 312. So, meron tayong tatlong digit na number. Tingnan ng Latin yung dalawang huling digit. So, 12. Para malaman natin na kung ito ay divisible by 4 siya, i-divide din natin siya using the long process division. So, 12 divided by 4. So, 12 divided by 4 is equal to 3. Then, 3 times 4 is equal to 12. Then, 12 minus 12 is equal to 0. So, the answer is 3. Saktong sagot. So, therefore, 312 is divisible by 4. Subukan naman natin itong numero ito, 3,120. So, we're going to get the last two-digit number which is 20. So, 20 divided by 4 is equal to 5. Then, 5 times 4 is equal to 20. 20 minus 20 is equal to 0. So, yung sagot natin ay saktong 5. Therefore, 3,120 is divisible by 4. Another example, 15,632. The last two digit is 32. So, i-divide natin ng 32 sa 4 para malaman natin kung ito ay divisible by 4 siya. So, 32 divided by 4 is equal to 8. 8 times 4 is equal to 32. Then, 32 minus 32 is equal to 0. So, saktong sagot ang nakuha natin. Therefore, 15,632 is divisible by 4. So, palagi nating tatandaan na ang pagkuha o paano natin malaman na isang number ay divisible by 4, tingnan lang natin yung last two digit nito. So ngayon, mag-practice tayo. Subukan nating sagutin ang mga to. 160. Is it divisible by 4? The answer is... Yes. Bakit? The last two digit is 60. If you are going to divide 60 divided by 4, is equal to 15. Next. 504. Is it divisible by 4? The answer is yes, because the last two digit is 0 and 4. Then if you are going to divide, we just only use 4 
divided by 4 is equal to 1. So, ang sagot natin dun ay buo. Next number, 2116. Is it divisible by 4? The answer is yes. Bakit? Tingnan natin yung dalawang huling digit nito ay 16. Pag dinivide natin yan sa 4, 16 divided by 4 is equal to 4. So, saktong sagot din. Next number, 8,028. Is it divisible by 4? The answer is yes. The last two digit is 28. Then, pag dinivide natin yan sa 4, is equal to 7. Now, let's go to divisibility rule number 8. States that a number is divisible by 8 if the last three digit is divisible by 8 and if the number ends in 3 zeros. So, ang basehan naman natin dito ay ang tatlong huling digit nito. At kung ang number ay nagtatapos ng tatlong zero. Subukan natin itong numero na to. 192. So, the given number is three digit number. So, gamitin natin to ng buo. 192 divided by 8. So, Kunin natin yung 19, i-divide natin siya sa 8. So, 19 divided by 8 is equal to 2. 2 times 8 is equal to 16. Then, let us subtract 19 minus 16 is equal to 3. Bring down 2. Then, 32 divided by 8 is equal to 4. Then, let us multiply 4 times 8 is equal to 32, then subtract 32 minus 32 is equal to 0. So, nakuha natin ay eksaktong sagot. So, therefore, 192 is divisible by 8. So, subukan naman natin itong number na to, 1016. And the last 3 digit is 016. So, pag i-divide natin yan, tanggalin na natin yung unang 0. Gawin natin siyang whole number. So, 16 divided by 8. So, 16 divided by 8 is equal to 2. Then, 2 times 8 is equal to 16. Then, 16 minus 16 is equal to 0. So, the quotient is 2. 2 is a whole number. So, therefore, 1016 is divisible by 8. Next number is 12,000. So, the last three digit is 0, 0, 0 or tatlong 0. So, napakadali, di ba? This is divisible by 8 because the last 3 digit is 0. So, therefore, 12,000 is divisible by 8. Ganun lang to kadali or kabilis. Pag may tatlong 0 siya sa dulo, automatic, ang number na to ay divisible by 8. So, subukan naman natin itong example na to. 67,480. So, the last 3 digit is 480. So, i-divide natin yung 480 sa 8. So, 480 divided by 8. So, kunin natin yung 48 para i-divide sa 8. So, 48 divided by 8 is equal to 6. 6 times 8 is equal to 48. Then, 48 minus 48 is equal to 0. Gawin natin, bring down 0. Then, yung 0 na lang, ilagay natin sa taas. So, saktong sagot natin, 60. O kaya, pwede din naman nating tanggalin yung 0 na siya. So, we're going to use 48 divided by 8. So, the answer is 6. 6 times 8 is equal to 48. Then, 0. So, ang sagot natin doon ay saktong 6. Therefore, 67,480 is divisible by 8. Let us try this. Sagutin naman natin to mga divisible by 8. So, 248, divisible by 8 ba siya? The answer is... Yes. Kasi pag divide natin yan, 248 divided by 8 is equal to 
31. Next number, 3,134. Is it divisible by 8? The answer is no. Because the last 3 digit is 134. Divide natin yan sa 8. Lalabas na sagot doon ay 16.75. So, ibig sabihin, hindi siya whole number. Next, 7,000. Is it yes or no? The answer is yes. Because the last 3 digit is 0. Yan yung isang rule ng divisible by 8. If the last 3 digit of a number is 0, is it divisible by 8? Eight. Next, 19,640. Is it yes or no? The answer is yes. The last three digit is 640. Pwede natin tanggalin yung 0. 64 yan. I-divide natin yan sa 8. So, magiging sagot doon ay 8 or 640 divided by 8 is equal to 80. Pagkatapos ang ating aralin na to, palagi lang natin tatandaan, number is divisible by 4 if the last two digit is divisible by 4. Divisible by 8 if the last three digit is divisible by 8 and if the number ends with three zeros. Diyan na naman nagtatapos ang ating aralin. This is Teacher Rai saying goodbye and God bless everyone. See you! on my next video. Bye-bye!